In the previous lecture, I talked about calculating the mean for discrete random variables. Now we're going to talk about calculating the variance and the standard deviation of a discrete random variable. Also remember that standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. So I'm going to explain how to find the variance and that will lead us to finding the standard deviation. So first of all, in my last lecture I explained how to find the mean. And now we're going to need to find the mean before we find the variance. So in my example, I had a distribution for a golfer on a par 3 hole. So as you can see, most of the time he will get a, get it in in 3 hits, about a 45% chance. There's a 30% chance of getting it in in 2 hits. And sometimes he gets it in in 1 or 4 hits. So this is the probability distribution I went through to find the mean of 2.65. So you can look at this to find that, or you can go back to the previous lecture if you don't understand what's going on here. But I'm going to move this up and just understand that we've already found, using the mean formula, that the mean for this distribution is 2.65. Now we have the variance formula, which is this thing right here. Basically, variance is the sum of each squared event times the probability of each event minus the mean squared, which is a lot of words, so I would rather show that to you than tell you. So here we go. We already know that the mean is 2.65, so we have that done already. Now I'm going to make this table up here where we're going to need to find out what each x squared is, just like that. So 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, and so on. So we come up with those four values, 1, 4, 9, and 16. And then in the next column, we need to find out what each x squared times their associated probability is. So it would look something like this x squared, which is 1, times the probability associated with 1, which is 0.10, equals 0.10, and so on. You know, 4 times 0.3 is 1.20. So now we have all of the x squared times each probability. Now what we need to do is add those together. And if we add all those together, we have 7.75, which is the first part of that formula. That whole thing, that sum of x squared times probability, that is 7.75. And now, we already know what the mean is. It's just 2.65. So the whole formula would be 7.75 minus 2.65 squared, which would be 7.75 minus 7.02, which would be 0 0.73. That would be the variance for this discrete random variable. Now that we have the variance, we can just take the square root of that, and now we also know that the standard deviation of this discrete random variable is 0 0.85. And assuming you already know how to find the mean of a discrete random variable, that's how you find the variance and the standard deviation as well.